this is Paula Januszkiewicz from Secure. Uh, I'm delivering at ETC Hacking and Securing Windows Infrastructure Masterclass. This is the class that covers two aspects of what's happening within the current cybersecurity scene. So we've got a two days for hacking and three days for securing. So we are performing attacks at the very beginning to understand what's happening in the Windows of operating system when you got hacked or how the hackers perform different types of activities in order to get uh, inside your infrastructure. And for the next three days we are digging into different types of solutions approaches um, to understand how you are able to implement all the bits and bytes um, sometimes it's just a one checkbox sometimes it's just a whole solution in order to be a little bit more secure um, against something that is happening right now in this world so the class is designed for uh, IT administrators or someone who is managing security in the organization. So uh, it's quite interesting because people just recently got the role of being responsible for security in the organizations. And they're very curious, like, what does it mean? Because for real, we, we have no schools for cybersecurity. We have schools for IT, we have schools for developers, but we have no schools for cybersecurity. That's why that training exists, uh, to not only prepare them for their role, but also to show them what kind of possibilities in general we have uh, so that they can come back to their organizations and they can they can implement what they've learned. Uh, interesting fact, uh, in, in Financial Times last year, there was a very nice uh, quotation that uh, by 2019, will be in the need for of 6 million cybersecurity professionals. But with the current development, uh, we've got uh, from 4 to 5 million cybersecurity professionals that's going to be ready at that time. So that means that we are 1 million soldiers short. And that is an eye-opening fact, because uh, at some point we could be wondering when I, whenever we're going to be an organization by 2019, are we really ready to accept cybersecurity threats that's going to be there without any doubt? Are we be able to, to secure in an in appropriate uh, way, in an appropriate level? Uh, well, that's the answer that we will probably know by 2019. But uh, for now, we need to do as much as we can to avoid it, because this is an unavoidable uh, future, at least in my opinion.